Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the lectionary readings for this coming Sunday and offer some thoughts for reflection. Uh, This week we're looking at a passage in the book of Acts uh, chapter uh, 4. I was out uh, outside the church a few days ago and I I happened to, my gaze happened to fix upon uh, the cornerstone of the church. Uh, It's a very impressive uh, stone. It's a large stone, which is the foundation of the church, and it has uh, certain uh, dates on it uh, when when the church was first uh, erected, and then when it uh, was rebuilt, and then and then renovated uh, in the early 1900s, and uh, it's inscribed into the cornerstone is the original name Salem Union uh, Church of Forks. Um, Sometimes cornerstones have inside of them um, historical artifacts from when they were first, uh, from when the building was first built. I'm not sure if that's the case with the cornerstone here at Forks, but uh, at any rate, the cornerstone, the foundation of a building, is is the most impressive uh, stone, the most important stone. And I bring that up because of uh, this verse in our, in our passage in which uh, Peter says that Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, but it has become the cornerstone. Uh, when it comes to the Christian faith, the ministry of Jesus, uh, the foundation is uh, a rejected one, uh, someone who was persecuted, uh, someone who the powerful of, of the day um, considered uh, not important and uh, not impressive at all. And this, this verse, uh, of course, uh, I think brings to mind uh, the ways in which we consider things to be important or impressive. Um, do we measure things by the quote-unquote success of this world? Um, and if we do, uh, we are not really uh, subscribing to the foundation of our faith, which is built upon a rejected, a persecuted, and a crucified Savior. And so, uh, as Christians, we are called time and time again to to kind of to gather with, to empathize with, to walk in the shoes of those in our society who are not considered important, impressive, or successful, but those who are considered to be the rejected ones. The church's foundation, indeed, is ministering to and being present with uh, those who are rejected. Um, I remember uh, seeing a poster uh, in a church somewhere uh, sometime uh, that said that said this, uh, how can we worship a homeless man on Sunday and walk past one on Monday? Amen. Thank you.